This place is absolutely beautiful. I'm out in Palm Bay right now, and you know, there's so many good places to fish out here. There's Stick Marsh, Keenansville, Lake Garcia, uh, Broadmoor, Godwin, uh, Fellsmere. There's so many places out here to fish. It's it's ridiculous. And I decided to go to a place that's a little bit more remote, kind of a little bit more out of the way. Quite a few, not too many boats at the boat ramp. Uh, more than I was expecting, but definitely less than some of the other places I've mentioned. And we're just out here. And what I want to do is I want to pick this place apart because I fished here once before. And I caught a few fish, not too many, but they're all in one spot. And I kind of want to show you guys what it's like to kind of pick something apart. Bird down there. I thought it was a fish for a second. Because all this looks good, right? You've got trees on this side that are submerged. You've got vegetation on the right side. But I'm pretty sure the, the bottom here is kind of muddy and the fish don't necessarily like that. Or at least bass don't. And it's easy when we get to a new spot to kind of really want to fish all this. Like I could spend hours just fishing this stuff right here in front of me. But this is where like understanding fish and their behavior and things like that really comes in into play. Um, there's tons of bait fish all around me. I was throwing a frog a little bit earlier just to see if anything would, would pop it. But there's not necessarily the things that maybe bass might want. So what we need to find, or what I'm going to be looking for today, is hard sandy bottoms, which this floating debris here kind of tells me this is more of like a muck. That's part of a tree. But hard sandy bottoms and hydrilla. I know there's hydrilla in here, we just gotta find it. So let's get out there, let's see if we can't make something happen, and pick a part of place that I've really only fished once. Now I'm not gonna lie, I am making a few casts here and there, uh, just in places that look like really, really good. Mostly because I know there's an edge up here uh, on these trees. spending a whole lot of time. I, I did miss one fish. He followed it. See, all those bait fish scattering over there around my, around my bait. I did miss one fish. He followed it right up to the kayak. It wasn't very big. Okay, so we're approaching the place where I've caught fish before. And the reason uh, I've caught them before is there's kind of a shelf there and it has a hard sandy bottom. And I know this because I've seen it and I've caught four or five fish in this one area. So I'm going to get back out there, try it out. I know I missed at least one or two others in that area and see if I can't find them there again. See all those bait fish scatter? There's something pushing them around. Again, do you see him? That's not my bait. Something is back in there pushing them around. Oh, I got a fish on. I didn't realize I had a fish on. Oh, no. I legit thought I was stuck in the lily pads. And then I, I pulled it out and then the line just kept peeling. And I was like, okay, well, I guess I got a fish on. That wasn't a bad one. It wasn't a giant, but it wasn't a bad one.
that fish. No giant, but he's not bad. Oh, he's barely hooked. Ouch. That hurt. All right, there we go. First one. I think there's more back there, though, because I saw a couple swirls. Much better. Definitely not as big as I thought he was when he first grabbed it. <laughs> Just a little guy. Let's see if there's any more back there. I know I saw a couple of swirls on this little patch right here, and then the bigger one I caught on the back edge, I saw him surface. Both really aggressive hits. See, there's another one up there surfacing. It's still in there. That might have been a gar. Worm is gone. That's another one. Picked it up while we're sitting down. Another little guy. Oh, he's skinny. Toad jet. The fish must be getting warmed up because I'm seeing fish bust all over the place now. And they're they're not gar, they're multiple busts. So little schools probably like that one I just encountered back there. He's still on. <laughs> I told you they were over here schooling. <sighs> Again, no no giant. It's a little dink. I'll take fish though. Well, again, another dink. Off isolated lily pad patch. Okay, we need to get out in the middle and see if we can find some either areas that look like what we were in or some hydrilla or something. Because right now, not really, this all looks good, but again, it's, I don't think it's as good as that stuff back there. Because I, I saw the bottom back there. I really haven't explored anywhere else. So let's see if we can, uh, you know, get out there and maybe find some more isolated groupings of, of uh, reeds and stuff that are on a flat or something and, and, and work it from there, or hopefully find some hydrilla. Well, there's a lot of fish activity all around me. Mostly I'm pretty sure it's, it's gar and catfish surfacing, but something's over here freaking out these bait fish. Well, let's give it a shot and see what happens. Well, actually, just recatch. Oh no. No way. Yeah, it shouldn't do that. I just lost my 
steering column. Cable broke. Well, I think. Doesn't make me feel any better about not having a steering column right now. So I kinda kinda got this figured out. They seem to really like the bushes where there's a lot of growth on top. It creates a little mat and they're hiding under the mat. one of those little mats a giant there we go okay so I have a decision to make because without that steering it is going to be difficult to kind of maneuver this paddle this uh kayak. I think I'll be okay, but I don't definitely don't want to travel as far as, as I was planning to travel today with just me manually steering it with paddles. That's really going to be exhausting. And I see where this thing broke. I might be able to just repair it straight up or I might have to order a part. You know, looking at everything out here, rather than mess around, I think I'm just gonna go back down to the canal here and find my, and push my way out. Um, the breeze is gonna start picking up and I don't wanna be fighting. It's blowing the wrong way. It's blowing opposite of uh, where I need to go. So I don't wanna be fighting it here. So just throw a cast here real quick. I saw something leave there and I guess we'll call it a day. That kind of sucks that it broke, but probably about that time it needs to be replaced. Well. I just took that time to order the replacement kit right now. Good thing, uh, well, they're out of the cabling, so I guess we're going to go with cord, and a lot of people seem to like cord a little bit better anyway. Uh, so we are going to switch over from cable to cord, and hopefully, because the cable was out of stock, so hopefully they get that to me within a week, otherwise I'm dead the water next weekend, and two weekends after that we've got the uh, first KEF event, so... Hopefully it won't take that long to get it. Uh, I might be able to just jerry-rig something to keep this working for right now, but we'll see what happens. This is uh, not what I expected, but hey, it happens. You know, it's part of the maintenance thing. I should probably go clean my rods before the next big tournament event, the reels. But uh, yeah, the cabling was, was good for a year, and you figure I've been out on the water multiple times um, over this past year multiple times a week, so we're doing okay. So now we just got, you know, a two mile paddle back and I gotta steer this thing with my with my paddle. So I'll see you guys back at the ramp. Well, that right there proves it. So I got the kayak up in storage right now. Well, I've got new cabling here, so I'm probably gonna install this and uh, we'll see how it goes from there, but yeah, I mean, bound to happen right at some point so once I get that installed hopefully I'll get it out there in the weekend I ordered too but we'll talk about that in a, in a different video and uh, we'll get out there and hopefully get back on it this weekend